kayo? I hope you are all fine there. So let's have our lesson for today that talks about the materials that float or sink. So what is float? What is sink? Float means to stay on top, while sink means to fall to the bottom of water. O sa Tagalog, ang float ay lumulutang at ang sink ay lumulubog. So we will have an activity for this lesson to classify materials that float and sink. So we need glass, plastic bottle, metal spoon, plastic spoon, styrofoam, rock or stone, banana, 5 peso coin, razor, and orange. So let's start. Glass. Is it float or sink? Oh, it's sink. Next one. Plastic spoon. Oh, it floats. How about the metal spoon? Oh, it's sink. Orange. Is it float or sink? What do you think? So it floats. Eraser. Float or sink? It's sink. Coin. It sink again. How oh, about banana? Is it float or sink? Oh, it floats. Do you see it? Plastic bottle. It floats. Stone. It sink. Last one. Styrofoam. It floats. So these are the things that float. Plastic spoon, orange, banana, plastic bottle, styrofoam. And these are the things that sink. Glass, metal spoon, eraser, coin, and stone. Now, it's time to check if you really understand our topic. You will just study the following pictures, then identify if it sinks or floats. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Time starts now. Okay, time's up! Okay, number one, floater. Does it floats or sinks? Okay, very good, it floats. Number two, stone. Does it floats or sinks? Good job, it sinks. Number three, bell. Does it floats or sinks? Good, it sinks. Number four, candy wrapper. 
Does it float or sinks? Very good. It floats. And last number, number five, leaf. Does it floats or sinks? Good job. It floats. Very good, everyone. So that's it for our lesson today. Hopefully, you've learned and enjoyed a lot. If you have any question about our topic, just comment down below. Take care and God bless you all. See you on our next lesson.